All right, what's going on, fellas? I've been in the mines for the last month. Specifically, the last 55 days, making this game. So the name of the game, really, is to, you know, collect resource, grow crops, put them in the hole. Don't ask too many questions, all right? It is what it is. We got a tech tree. We got all kinds of stuff. Risk got sore spamming trees, lol. <laughs> we will never add click to hold. Click to hold is going to be a DLC that you can buy for 20 bucks. Okay, so the strat here, boys, is we're going to make a conveyor belt line to automate putting this in the hole. Place down the harvester. It needs fuel. Got some coal. Oh. That didn't fucking work. God damn it. Oh my God. This is embarrassing. Take two. Water plant. Dude, how did that not work? I'm sorry, guys. I'm a failure. What the fuck just happened? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> GG. I'm not going to dive into it too deeply because uh, you can head on over to terrafactor.rainy.gg right now and play test the game for yourself. The demo is out. Give it a whirl. You really don't want to know how much time went into making this a standalone website where you can actually click and buy the game in line and then head back and continue playing the full game. Don't ask. It was a whole lot of JavaScript. All right. <laughs> The name of the game is to keep adding more stuff into the game and making it even better. So welcome to day 55. I've already done a little bit of work today, but shh, know that, all right? Like five hours into the work day. <laughs> Today, we are going to do lighting. You may have noticed at nighttime, it was a little bit dark there. I intend to fix that. How? With a little bit of shading magic. How the fuck do we do shading? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna add fucking lights in here, dude. That's literally it. Light, lights, add in 128 of them. There we go, problem solved. Lighting done. I guess we could maybe do like a struct light and then fill this out here. Float for test. No, VEC4. Yeah. I mean, if this compiles and actually works, then we should be fine. Uniform blocks can only to contain float or int base types. All right, that's an L, dude. This might be a little bit harder than I thought. So right now, this should just be white. Flashbang, got you. It should be black. Okay. Uh oh, that's not black. R, G, B. That's blue. That's black. All right, so I want to do the thing that if you've ever done any shaders, you'll know what I'm talking about. We're going to do the thing, all right? So if I wanted to do the thing, really simple as pause plus one divided by two. We did the thing. We did the thing, boys. So with all of this beautiful pixel knowledge, how do we turn this into a shader that lights things? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm just going to keep shuffling this around until it works. There we go. Look at that. That's exactly what I want. So this is in world space. So this right here, the bottom left of the chunk, that's zero, zero right there. So now, now it's time for some lighting. Yeah. I guess if I was less aggressive with this, instead of an equals, we just do like a plus equals. Bruh, this is fucking trippy. Holy shit. If the distance is less than light radius, then we're going to do a bit of lighting, aren't we? In fact, this by itself, we should start being able to see something. So if I just do color.xyz plus distance divided by light radius. So if I do that, then we should already see the effect, maybe, of the lighting if I got this right. Look at that. Huge. Tremendous. So close. I can taste it. All right. I'm going to type out the rest of this. Look at that. Lighting. Done. GG, well played. The rest of this vid is really just going to be me like tuning the values and trying to get things looking nice. I and mean, adding in like a, you know, a bit of splash of color and all that kind of stuff. Making the torches look good. We, we, we might even get a campfire. Maybe flicker it a little bit. We'll see how we go. I'm going to pull Minecraft. And instead of actually doing an animation, we're going to do particle effects. All uh, right. That looks good to me. Let's go. Dude, it's fucking torch city up in here, bro. Yes. All right. We got some torches. We can pull a little sneaky. And we can say something like E dot say light funk is equal to <laughs> javascript brain robber <laughs> there's got to be an odin equivalent though of like a function like that right surely okay this needs an anti pointer huge tremendous oh my god yeah, and then we can just call this. Because that way, you know, we can just define the lighting in here ourselves. That way, we don't actually have to put all the data and try and encode it in the entity. We just pass it the function and then we do it manually. Fucking huge, dude. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at those torches, bro. 
We'll get them go. That's tremendous. All right, so let's make this look good. The strat for making this good. So we need to add a little bit of orangeness to this. So it's not just like making it daytime, but like making it, I don't know what to say. You know what I'm talking about, dude, all right? Come on. Making it a little bit this color. So the power of this is that we can just kind of fucking run it. <laughs> And do the call is equal to hex to RGBA, throw you in there. Boop, 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 scoop, boop. So to drive the alpha here, we can make this 1.0 for now and just get the the whole color shader thing working. Because right now, this of course doesn't actually do anything because we haven't done that, done that in the shader. Look, it's a to-do. It's right here. So let's do it, all right? So if we wanted more control over the lighting, we could pull in something like this. But honestly, I think a good old fashioned smooth step will do fine for now. I have no idea what's even happening here. All I know is that it's stepping things smoothly. That's all a man really needs, all right? But maybe we want more fine grain control over like the distance, the radius, intensity, and the fall off and all that kind of stuff. I got it from here many moons ago. So I guess if you want to test that out, here you go, fun stuff. So yeah, I mean, we could, we, could, we could throw it in, man. We could throw it in, I don't know, maybe. How that would slot in is we would just literally replace this line for the attenuation and just kind of like drive it with the parameters instead of doing a smooth step. So we could do that. It's no real harm doing it i'm gonna leave my options open i'm gonna copy paste it across and we're gonna say maybe but for now we're just gonna mix in the old lit color so it's kind of litty dude i think what this is actually doing is it's just being better at saturating things for when you actually go over maybe i can't remember um but anyway total illumination we're just kind of hard clamping that saturate no matching overload found all right so what is the equivalent in a normie language really gonna make me write a clamp bro like a fucking peasant come on man to be fair this is actually more clear what's happening <laughs> than like some weird obscure like saturate oh what is, what, what is it saturate man is that doing something funky no it's just fucking clamping it <laughs> Okay, but chill. Add extra color tint. Accumulated light cull. Divide equal accumulated alpha cull. And then lit cull. Same kind of dealio. We just lerp between the lit cull and the accumulated light cull based on the accumulated alpha. So like we're literally doing a second lighting pass, but just purely for the tint. Last but not least, what this should look like is uh, whatever the fuck this is. There we go. So it still looks kind of blotchy, but it looks it looks better. We're going to A-B test that. It kind of looks the same. It just looks like it's smoother. Like this is less like a single thing and more like a you can actually control the fall off, which I guess that's what this parameter is for, right? Ooh, there we go. All right. Huge. Intensity. What if we crank this to five? Like what's, what's that going to do? Five? Whoa. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so now would be a really good time to move all of these into tweaks in I'm GUI so we can finagle the shit out of this, dude. It's going to be so hype. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, huge. Look at that. Oh, man, I love I'm GUI. Torch color alpha 0.2. Oh, my God. We could just make anything. This is insane. This is going to be so fucking sick. All right, that's lighting. GG, let's go. Now, what we can actually do on top of this is we can put a second light that gives us the glow. Like this is kind of like the backlight chill vibe. But what we can do is we can push a second light. Yeah, that's right. The sequel that has more of like the intense actual like glowy bright thing. That almost by itself looks even better. So I wonder what I could do to get that effect just with one. Would it just be increasing intensity? Yeah, I think so. I I think we were way under on the intensity. Why was I so low on intensity? Yeah, if we crank that to one, that actually looks better. So now we can introduce a second guy, which I'm gonna make like way smaller and way more intense, have way more alpha. And I'm gonna make this guy the gold. I wanna get this guy looking pretty tight. So we'll crank the intensity a bunch, crank the fall off, and we could have this flickering. And I think it would be cool. So without, with, yeah, I mean, it adds a bit. We could even make it that big. I don't know. Kind of like the idea of having it a bit smaller like this. Just like that. So it's a nice little halo. And we can have this animate in and out. And it should give a nice effect. So let me copy all this. And hopefully not fuck up the color this time. Let us see. All right, GG. That's that. So yeah, now we can animate this. And it'll look even better. Also, if we make this actually like stand out. Like we can disable the torch from lighting. And I think it might actually make it like pop through more. Especially the flame. We want to turn off lighting for the flame. Because that's going to be the brightest thing, right? The flick is going to be relatively easy. We could just do a sign breathe. And then take in the out now. And then that'll give us the zero to one. That we can flicker with. So, offset. Equal to this. Times it by... I will say maybe like two or something. 
Not quite, not quite. Offset, we want a plus, not times. All right, so that's breathing in and out now. That's kind of not really what we want. We kind of want like a random, like, right? I'm not gonna dig too much more deeply into this. We've kind of uh, done enough here. It's looking good. I'm gonna call it a day there. Here's the one that's gonna save lives. Click to hold is now in, boys. There you go. Moment of truth. All right, it's pretty quick. I think the cooldown's working. It's a little bit too fast. <laughs> All right, that's that. Hands off. All right, there, boy, tweak it. That's good enough. So with that, I am officially incrementing the version number, and we're going to ship it up and call it a day. Let's do it. 0 0.11. Push that fucker up. Up you go. Build web, full release, and demo. It's going, dude. All right, well, good news, fellas. The production of V11 up and running. GG. That's the changelog right there. Yeah.